So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the four key principles I followed and you should follow to get the last bit of stubborn body fat off during a fat loss phase. So I had a pretty cool Instagram DM come in on my page. So I'm just going to pop it up on the screen here and it reads, Hi Max, I love your videos. I was wondering if I could pick your brains. Yes, you can. I have been dieting on and off for years, but can never seem to get rid of my belly. It just doesn't seem to go. Do you have any tips to get rid of that last bit of fat around my stomach and glutes? Thanks. So obviously this comes from a female, but this also can apply to men as well. And I'm gonna break it down into four kind of easy steps that we can follow that can help us get lean and more importantly, stay lean. So the first thing we need to follow is, I know it's boring, is alcohol. This is a big one. When it comes to losing stubborn body fat, we're talking about the end of a fat loss phase. Anybody can lose a couple of pounds, anybody can lose three or four kilos, but the bits of your body that you probably don't like, if you're female, maybe the back of your arms or your stomach or your hips, if you're a guy, it might be your chest or your legs, this stuff tends to come off last. So one of the key principles for losing stubborn body fat are as follows. We need to get rid of alcohol, okay? I know it sounds boring, but this is something that needs to be tracked. And it's not only alcohol, but it's just not tracking on weekends. We know we need to be in a caloric deficit to lose body fat. Everybody knows this. I'm not gonna ramble about that today. But overdoing it on weekends with alcohol, with empty calories, not quite tracking, will increase your weekly calories and basically can pull you out of that deficit. And the further and further you get into a fat loss phase, the more accurate you need to be and kind of the harder things get. So losing that last bit of fat can prove quite difficult, especially if you're only really dieting five days a week. Now, I'm not saying you don't have to drink alcohol. We all need to have fun and have a life, but I've got very lean in the past. I've been lean and then I've been very lean. So I'm gonna put a video up here of me very, very lean. This was done without alcohol, being very strict seven days a week, especially for those last four to six weeks of a fat loss phase, okay? Number two, the second key principle is your training plan. So just going to the gym and uh, having a protein shake after your workout doesn't quite cut it when it comes to getting very, very lean. Yes, we can lose a little bit of body fat this way, but we need to know what you're doing. You wouldn't get in your car without knowing the destination. You, do, you should not go into a gym and, and not know what to do. You should have a training plan. You should be focusing on progressive overload. You should have a cardio plan and you should have a step plan. To get extremely lean, you need to really be all in on all of these, these different factors. So a good solid training plan, a good solid cardio plan, and a good step plan. This obviously over time will increase. You might start on 20 minutes of cardio a few times a week, move that to 25 minutes, move it to 30 minutes, three days a week, four days a week. You might start at you know 8,000 steps a day, move to 10,000 steps a day, and finish on 12,000 steps a day. But we're always incrementally getting higher and higher and doing more and more, whilst also pulling calories lower and lower. And this is where the majority of people quit because it's, it's not fun and it's tough. Okay. The third principle, which again is very important, is accountability. So again, I went from this here to this only when I hired a coach. Now this is not a plug for my own coaching services, even though I'm a good coach, but having somebody there to support you, to check in on you, to kick you up the ass if you're not following things properly is so important. It's the same, same thing as having a goal or having a deadline. If you ever tried to diet for a wedding, I'm sure you had more motivation knowing you had the deadline, you had a date and you have a timeline. If you're just thinking, I wanna lose a bit of weight, just you know, to wanna get abs for the beach, it's, it's, not, it's not enough. When you get hungry, when things get tough, you're just gonna crumble. Accountability and a deadline or a goal is so important when it comes to achieving peak condition. Number four, the final thing is time. People do not give themselves enough time. If you have 20 kilos to lose, you are not gonna lose 20 kilos in eight weeks, okay? These things take time. This is why it's so important to start off slow and build as you go. Too many people come out the gate sprinting with high cardio, hard training, no food, no carbohydrates, 
and they end up just falling off and crumbling. You're much better off starting slow and building up over time and giving yourself enough time. Anyone that's been very, very lean will tell you the biggest changes happen in those final kind of four to six weeks. You don't have to be stepping on a bodybuilding stage or be, you know, it, it can be a beach holiday, but it's those, when, once you get, start to lose a lot of body fat, that's when you really start to see a difference. So if you have 20 kilos to lose, right? With the first 10 kilos, you might look a little bit better. You can start to see it. it. The next 10 kilos, you go from overweight to ripped, or if you're female, overweight to very, very lean and slim. You have to keep going and give yourself enough time. Now, those are the four things I would recommend. Obviously, everybody's different, but a good training plan, limited alcohol, give yourself a timeline and a goal, and hire someone to push you. These are the four things that are gonna help you get from lean to very lean. If you wanna learn more about training and tips and tricks to get lean, head to my Instagram at Maxi No Muscle, not Maxi No Muscle, Maxi No Muscle, and have a look at my videos to learn some more.